，大量新车停在码头上，几乎看不到尽头。仔细一看，其中两百多辆还是凯迪拉克顶级的修旅车款，市价高达四点三亿台币。We have been freezing over two hundred billion euros of Russian assets. We have also other other luxury goods that are being blocked. Momentarily, there are two thousand five hundred containers being blocked for more investigations. 在比利时的泽布吕赫港准备运往俄罗斯的车子，只要价值超过一百六十万台币，都会被暂时扣押。So for the moment we have eight thousand cars started, eight thousand already. That's a lot. That's a lot. Although we could get more. 欧美下达俄国制裁令，奢侈品立马被冻结。在开战时，比利时也查扣了大量俄罗斯富豪的房产还有游艇。There's already 2.7 billion Russian assets that were were blocked, were frozen, and then also almost 200 billion transactions that that were blocked. 以往各国政府为了避免因为政治因素任意查扣民众的资产，所以对持有财产的隐私法规相当严。也影响对俄罗斯富豪的制裁，尤其财产若是转移到家人名下，更是难以借由制裁冻结资产。这次欧美国家大串联抽丝剥茧，找出实际的受益人，展开大规模的扣押行动。There are many, many corporate intermediaries, so that the beneficial owner is extremely difficult to determine. And one way that these task forces are working is to try and break down the barriers of a lot of the privacy requirements that are in place. 在欧美国家的联手之下，冻结了切尔西足球俱乐部的前老板阿布拉莫维奇在伦敦的五十多处房产，价值高达八十六亿台币。号称俄罗斯最有钱的富豪尤斯马诺夫，市值大约台币五十六亿元的英国豪宅也遭到扣押。The governments of Europe and the U.S. have already seized over a half a dozen yachts worth well over a billion dollars. They've taken, they've frozen their houses, their villas in Lake Como. 俄国富豪资产多得令人咋舌，但专家认为这样的制裁可能还不够给力。In my opinion. The oligarchs are the trustees for Vladimir Putin. They're the ones who hold his money, and um, uh, so far we've only sanctioned 20 oligarchs. There's about 118 of them.、Uh, we should at least be、um, increasing that sanctions list. 扣押下来的豪宅、游艇、新车何去何从，也成为后续处理的焦点。泽布吕赫港一年查扣大约十二万辆的高级车，也只能原封不动的。The transactions, of course, are are blocked, and uh, and the the the, the assets itself are, are frozen, so they cannot be used anymore. It doesn't mean that they become、uh, that the 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 government、uh, owns them. Ukraine 方面多次要求把查扣的财产拿来协助乌克兰重建。专家表示，并不是不可行，但就法律程序而言，其实不容易办到。To get somebody's property confiscated, we need a crime. We are looking for uh, legal solutions, uh, uh, money laundering. Uh, Embezzlement, perhaps sanction circumvention. These assets' belonging are already hard to identify, and along with the responsibility for collecting the tax, it is also complex. This way, the government is not able to help the Ukrainian refugees. The goal this time around is number one to punish these oligarchs who have become fantastically wealthy from Vladimir Putin's autocracy and the kleptocracy that is today's Russia. But number two, it is also to prevent. Vladimir Putin from accessing that capital, from accessing those funds that the oligarchs have provided him for years. 大量扣押豪宅、游艇，斩断金流，以免用来赞助战争军备。但更多的恐怕是在展示西方实施制裁的力道，宣传意味浓厚。实际上，帮助乌克兰的效应可能并不高。TVB 新闻综合报道。想扩大国际视野，掌握趋势，请订阅专门报道国际新闻的 YouTube 频道。TVBS 国际 Plus， 记得要开启小铃铛哦。